In this exercise, we need to take this piece of thinning, this polygon, and advance merge it, in other words, dump it in to this layer, the master layer. So to do that, we're going to use the Edit Tools Geo Wizard. So I'm going to click that to start processing. And I'm going to select Advanced Merge and then click Go. My base polygon layer will be my master layer. So I've called it Todd Thinning Master. And it wants me to specify an output feature class or shape file. I will do that. I've navigated to the folder I want to put it in. And I'm going to call it Todd underscore thinning underscore master underscore one because it's the next sequence in my numbering. Then I'm going to click save. I'm going to click next. It's going to ask me what layer I wish to merge. I want to use my cleaned block, block underscore clean underscore one. So I'll select that. The priority I wish to select for this will be 2, and that is because I want the layer that I'm adding to the master layer as an update to it. It'll be the most current, hence anything underneath of it in the master layer will be erased. And that's in this particular case what I want. So I'm going to click Finish. It's processed. If we look at the screen, there's 1, 2, 3, four polygons. It says the function completed successfully. We'll click OK. We're going to just verify that by right click clicking on the new theme that was created and open the attribute table. And you will see there's one, two, three, four records. OK. So it has been advanced merged. The last thing to do for tidying up is take the the legend that was in the uh, preceding layer, or the original layer, and apply it to the new layer that I just created. And I have shown this before, but I'll quickly go through it again. I right-click on Todd Thinning Master 1, left-click on Properties, go to Symbol, the Symbol tab, click Import, and I'll import from Todd Thinning Master, click OK, click Apply, click OK, and there. Now we have it. As one last piece of housekeeping, I'm going to remove the the old thinning master layer because we're not going to use that anymore. Now, like I said before, that is not deleting it from the hard drive. It's just removing it from the project. Uh, so that way, if you ever need to see a historical reference to this particular point in time, you will have it. Okay. Now, for some more housekeeping, we need to take this deduction and dump it into the master deduction layer. So to do that we just repeat the same process. I'm going to click on the Edit Tools Geo Wizard. I'm going to select Advanced Merge. I'm going to click Go. My base polygon layer will be my Todd underscore deduction underscore master. I'll select that. Specify an output feature class or shape file my output feature class. I'm just going to take a little bit of a shortcut. I'll just click on that once come down here and put a underscore one. Just save some typing. Click the next button and in this particular case again I just I want to make sure it's not overwriting anything. Uh, in this, There is no overlap but just to get into the habit of doing advanced merge into, into, the, into the same layer we're going to select the code 2. So I'll select that. The layer I wish to merge is the deduct clean layer, and then I'll click finish. And function completed successfully. I'm going to import the legend I did before. Apply it. OK. You can see that they're both there. One last step I want to do is open the attribute table, and there's two. As we can see, there's two records, one, two records. So 
as final housekeeping. We do not need this um, input layer anymore from there, and we do not need this input layer anymore. So what we're left with, when all is said and done, is an updated master thinning layer and an updated deduction layer. This concludes this exercise.